Let's now examine proofs of genuine love for God. Every demand of scriptures has biblical proofs to validate them. God's love has proofs. When you are in love with God, there are certain kinds of things that help to validate, that help you to know. Number one, among others, the proof of our love for God includes one, undying love for his world. Welcome and cherish viewers to Weekend Channel. This is a place where we inspire, we instruct, we inform concerning the area of your spiritual life, your financial life, and your moral life. In this video, the Bishop David Oyedepo explains the proof of genuine love. What are the signs that you genuinely love God? He said that if you love God, you have to love His work, love the interests of the kingdom, and love the people of God. This video is going to bless you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to this video for more inspiring videos. See you at the end of the video. Yes, we can. You love God, you love his house. Number three, if you are in love with God, you are unashamed in the pursuit of God and the interest of his kingdom. You are, you are elated, you are excited, you are always on top. When it comes to sharing the wonders of God in your life. You do it lavishly without any constraint. Let's now examine proofs of genuine love for God. Every demand of scriptures has biblical proofs to validate them. Second Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 8. This do to prove the sincerity of your love. <laughs> so it has proofs. Now, 1 Corinthians 3, 15 to 18. 1 Corinthians 3, 15 to 18. If any man's work shall be born he shall suffer loss now. Go down to say to verse 8, 18. 1 Corinthians 3, 18. I'm sorry, 1 John. 1 John, please. Go to verse 15 and let's wind down to, the, to 18. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. And then no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. He hereby perceive with the love of God because if laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the, the brethren. Now verse 17. But whosoever has this word's good, and see that his brother have need, and shut it up the bowels of his compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? It has proved. Verse 18. My little children, let us not love in world, neither in tongue the way they do in the world, but in truth and in deed. There are actions that validate and authenticate love. It's not the love of the world that is in words. And there is nothing inside. When you hear the words say, I love you, <laughs> it means one million things. It could mean one million things. God's love has proofs. When you are in love with God, there are certain kinds of things that help to validate that help you to know number one among others the proof of our love for God includes one undying love for his world David the lover said how love I thy law it's my meditation all the day. That through thy commandment has made me wiser than my enemies because they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers because their testimonies are my meditations. I understand more than the ancient because I keep their precepts. Psalm 119, verse 97 to 100. Every true lover of God loves his word. 
If you are not in love with the world, you are not in love with God. Every true lover of God exhorts the world. They don't despise them. Whatever God says moves them naturally. One of the proofs that we are in love is that we love his world. We don't toss aside from Sunday to Sunday. If you love the Lord, you love his house. I was glad, David said, when he said to me, come and let us go into the house of the Lord. And who was David? A man with a heart for God. Fellowship is not a show to a lover. It's coming to his presence. Amen. How many people are the tabernacles of God? Psalm 84 and verse 1 to 7. I'd rather be a dog keeper in the house of God than to do in the tents of wickedness. Every true lover of God loves his world. Every true lover of God loves his house. I was glad when they say it's time for church. I wasn't dragging, we are busy, and you know, my position, my possession. If you are going to brag in your life, don't brag at God's presence. Don't. Don't. You love God, you love his house. Number three, if you are in love with God, you are unashamed in the pursuit of God and the interest of his kingdom. You are, you are elated, you are excited, you are always on top. When it comes to sharing the wonders of God in your life. You do it lavishly without any constraint. A true lover is unashamed of the pursuit of God and the interest of his kingdom. Psalm 119 verse 46. David the lover said, I will also speak to the testimonies before kings and will not be ashamed. <laughs> Hello, your royal highnesses. Just to let you know what the Lord did for me tonight. Amen. <laughs> He's been wonderful. I will speak of that testimony before kings and will not be ashamed. You can't be ashamed of your lover. No. Paul, a man with the unconditional love of God at work in him, said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, the power of God to salvation, to everyone that believes. Remember, I said earlier on in Romans chapter 8 and verse 35 to 39, what shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation, distress, or persecution, or farming, or nakedness, or prairie, or sword. For their sake, we are killed all the day, but that won't matter. We are in love. We are counted as sin for the slaughter. He said, Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Don't pity us. In the world, they say love is blind. But in the kingdom, we say love is dead. Sons of Solomon, chapter 8, and verse 6 and 7. Sons of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 6 and 7. Set me as a seal upon thy heart, as a seal upon thy arm. For love is as strong as death. Go to verse 7. Many waters cannot quench love. 
neither can the flood drown it. If a man will give all the sons of his house for love, it will utterly disregard it. You are in love, you are in love, sir. What's the name? Eyes have not seen or ears have heard. What God has in store for anyone with proven love for him. Proven love for God. You can't be in love with God and not know. Not that God knows who loves him. You should know. You know. Number four proof of proven love is giving towards the advancement of the kingdom, the kingdom of God, and the needy around us. And now, David said, because of my affection to the house of my God, I have given all. First Chronicles 29.3 I've given all my affection is my motivation for my giving. I've given all from my private treasury, my own property, not kingdom property. Moreover, because I have set my affection to the house of my God, I've, of my own proper good of gold and silver, which I've given to the house of my God, over and above all that I've prepared for the holy house. Over and above. Thank you for watching this video to this far for ending you are a champion. Only champions start and finish. And for finishing, I have a book for you in the description entitled Process of Service. This book is going to show you how to engage in kingdom service for benefits in the future. This book is going to surprise you so much. Get this book from Amazon. Your life will never be the same. Don't forget to watch the video at the end of this one. Always remember, winners never quit and quitters never win. Yes. We can. Every true lover is a Libra soul. Every true lover is a Libra soul. First, towards the kingdom. And then follows various other avenues for demonstrating the love of God. Not for a show. Not for a show. It flows out of you by reason of the love of God at work in your heart. We stop at number five. Love for our fellow brethren. By this shall all men know that you have, you are my disciples, if you have love one for another. Love is the fulfilling of the law. You are in love, it flows out to the needy around you. Love is not hidden, love manifests itself to those around us. 